good morning good evening uh, doctors and nurses so i am dr che and today we will do this role play with one of our nurses so this is your role play like in the real exam you will have 2 to 3 minutes to prepare so you have 2 uh, minutes to prepare for this role play please start please start please um just wait may i start yes please hello my name is kiran i am one of the registered nurse today can you please tell me how may i address you uh yes uh, i am uh, jenny Jenny, can you please tell me uh, what brings you here today? Uh, you know, Nas, the problem is, uh, you can see my this three-year-old son. Yes. Uh, What's bring you here today? Uh, let me let me finish. Okay. So the problem is, Nas, you know, re yesterday uh, uh, he had a fit that is why i'm here yesterday he was fit as you said that and what's going on right now yes he was having convulsion fits doctor fits fits yesterday i am really sorry to hear about that that your son is suffering from the fits uh, could you please tell me more about that have you noticed anything else with the fits like fever cough or anything else uh yes yes he was having fever uh you know fever and uh, yes flu a little bit cough also yes uh let me reassure you that uh, it can happen with this but uh, would you mind telling me if uh, he lost his consciousness uh or awake at that time uh yes yes nurse yes uh, did he pass urine during this episode uh yes yes uh thank you so much for answering my question uh, that you told me that he was suffering from the fits with the fever and cough and he also lost his consciousness and he passed the urine am i correct yes 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 uh now i want to just know about your family history is there any family history of fits uh yes his father has uh, epilepsy i am very sorry to hear about that uh, can you please tell me do you have any other questions or concerns no just uh, you know i don't i don't know why what is happening with him i can accept your worries uh, it's very difficult for you if i would be at your place i am going to feel the same uh, let me reassure you that uh, it's not uh, uh, epilepsy and uh, it's very treatable so you don't need to be worry about that are you with me yes yes uh, we are here to help you so you don't need to be worry about we will prescribe you some medications antipyretic for fever uh, we will give you the paracetamol and uh, you don't need to take aspirin are you following with are you following me yes yes uh, now i am going to tell you some more about uh, the preventions that you have to take medications on time and if uh, he fall down Uh, you just make sure that there would be no any hard surface and just turn the turn their turn your baby side are you with me yes i am with you uh, one more thing i want to add that if he lost his consciousness more than 5 minute you just need to rush to the emergency department or call to the emerg uh, call to the hospital are you with me yeah i am with you yeah uh i'm very glad that you are understanding well do you have any other concerns and queries no no 
thank you so much so i'm going to leave now if you have any other concerns you can just buzzer the bell yeah. and i will be right back to you okay okay thank you thank you so much no thank you thank you yeah you can you can uh, you can still continue your video i need to explain you okay sure okay so <laughs> overall what i have noticed that you are a good uh, you know and you're confident in your role play that is good thing okay. english wise uh, english wise uh, means pronunciation and overall it is almost okay there are some uh, you know grammatical mistakes but uh, just a few not too much uh, okay. but overall uh, the main thing is again the same okay so we have two things in linguistic criteria i will say mm -hmm. that only you need to work a little bit on grammar okay tenses especially in the linguistic okay. criteria uh, mm -hmm. there are there are some tenses i will tell you what i have written here so but in clinical communication criteria you have uh, you know watched my last feedback with doctor you have tried to cover these things that is good but still still there are we need improvement okay so you have okay. asked me two times what brings you here today yes okay yes <laughs> so just when i start telling you something you need to wait for my response i was just saying nurse you can see my this 3 year old son then after after that i will say my problem okay my son's problem yeah. but you sort of then could you please tell me what brings you okay this is not good you have interrupted the patient okay yes okay so so when i say uh, okay when i told you i nurse you can see my this 3 year old son and he is yesterday had a fit so uh, yes uh, i can see so uh, i can see that's something that you can tell me that i can see your child this and that then one thing you have misunderstood yesterday he has he had a fit okay this fit mean convulsion so you have just changed that means he was fit yesterday so it means i have you have misunderstood here one thing okay mm -hmm. then very good i i was expecting that you are doing very well when you told me an open question you know what is open question yes what is like elaborate like a more elaborate something yeah could you please tell me more about uh, your son's condition but why was happy when you have done this i was happy okay but you know what mm -hmm. happened then no you have added closed question with the open question okay you told me uh, could you please tell me miss jani one more thing that i have remember just keep using name of the patient throughout your role play please okay you didn't tell me miss jani uh, just you have asked my name but you have not used my name throughout the role play okay so this is uh, okay. this comes in the repo okay so this is not good repo okay you asked me uh, could you please tell me you showed me sympathy sorry for that yes you could you please tell me more about your uh, son's condition uh then you added a closed question uh, had he uh, uh, was he having fever cough okay something two or three questions you have added there okay so number okay. one you asked me open question then you added you added closed questions this is not good keep it open could you please tell me a bit more about your son's condition it means you keep it open then i can tell anything that i want to tell okay this is one okay. thing number two you asked uh, asked me more than one thing you have asked me cough you have asked me fever any other thing so this is called compound questions okay don't ask compound questions okay one thing okay okay sure okay so one thing maybe you ask me i will tell you about convulsions so about fits then you can ask me uh, uh, did he have fever or does he have fever so you you can use present and past both are okay then you can ask about cough then you are asked about uh, loss of consciousness so you did he loss of consciousness no did he, did he lose consciousness did he lose consciousness so you you told is he lost consciousness so this was grammatically wrong so yes. then did he pass urine this was grammatically okay very good you are asking you know separately 
loss of consciousness separately this one separately okay hmm. here you ask families to that is good then you ask you are you told me so do you have any other concern that is very good i asked you i don't know what is happening so you are involving me the patient in the conversation so in first three bullet points in the last two bullet points you didn't involve me you just are you with me i told you, yes yes i am with you you keep explaining you kept explaining 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 i was just listening you just ask one thing at the end are you with me i tell you yes i am with you okay yeah okay <laughs> yes okay so please involve the patient in the conversation okay okay sure oh the next thing is uh, here uh, you told me that you, you have reassured me you have told me it is not epilepsy but you didn't explain me you didn't explain me what is this febrile convulsion you did not explain to me what is febrile convulsion so it is not epilepsy then what it is it is febrile convulsion okay so then <laughs> then you just don't need to keep explaining this uh, you can ask me okay miss jenny uh, do you know uh, what you need to do uh, in case if he uh, if your son uh, has uh, has any uh, Uh, future uh, and if fits in future okay i was no doctor okay. no nurse i don't know then you will explain me it would look very good okay this one so then explain this slow maybe you divide it into two parts divide into two mm -hmm. parts why i have written a lot of information here just to check whether you people uh, divide it into two parts or not you can ask about uh, this medication move away from danger okay you can ask this these these dangers okay then stop here okay then you can say cushion the head and turn on the side okay okay after stopping okay. the conversion so in parts in in chunks okay then the mm -hmm. last is you only mention if he has a uh, uh, face for more than 5 minutes you can uh, you should rush to the emergency okay it's not emergency just call the ambulance or if he does not regain the consciousness or he is seriously injured during the episode so you need to tell all the complete information you have completed your role and your uh, role play in 4 minutes and 15 seconds so please okay. if you don't cover all the things you will uh, finish before time okay <laughs> okay so overall uh, just you need to work on these things overall you are close to you are b grade okay just work on these things please okay sure okay thank, thank you. you so much thank you